Welcome to the second video in my Home Assistant playlist on my YouTube channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics, primarily using the Python programming language. Please consider subscribing to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment if this video helped you. So in the previous video, which you can click on here to watch it, we installed Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi 4 using a SSD drive since it has quicker write, read and write and we'll need it for live camera stuff and so you can watch that video and so we're going to start from that where we are in Home Assistant in the overview and unlike most videos on my channel uh, I haven't done this process yet so you're going to do, uh, do it live with me and we can run into the same troubles and hopefully it helps somebody seeing it live versus somebody who's already completed it. So we're going to be installing the Home Assistant Community Store or HACS, which is H-A-C-S, which allows for third-party integrations, custom things that's not uh, readily available in Home Assistant. So we're already logged into Home Assistant. So we're going to go step by step on how to install HACS and it's kind of really easy. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to go to my profile right here. So whatever you named it when we were setting it up together. All right. All right, let me shrink my head. Nope, I don't like that. Really move my head. So we're going to go down to advanced mode, unlocks advanced features, and we're going to turn that to on. Okay, there we go. Next, we're going to settings, and then we're going to go to add ons. you don't have any installed yet, head over to the add-on store to get started. All right, so we are going to type in terminal. There we go. So this is the official add-ons. This is the Home Assistant Community add-ons. We're going to use this terminal and SSH. So click on that. Here we go. And now we can install. Okay, I'm going to click in click on all of these there we go now the terminal showed up we're going to press start all right and now it has started so now click we're going to click right here open web ui there we go and now we're uh, basically we ssh'd into our raspberry pi is what we did and then we're going to type in this command here. So wget hyphen uppercase O HTTPS get hacks XYZ. Uh, you do this by pressing shift and forward slash space bash. And now let's see if I did this correctly. All right, so it was, I had a, uh, I didn't put the space there. So wget space dash capital O space dash space HTTPX get dot hacks dot xyz space the straight line space bash space hyphen and i will put a link to this in the description as well so you can just copy and paste it just know that when you copy and paste stuff off into a terminal you can't press Control v you have to right click and press paste and i recommend pasting as plain text now see this info remember to restart home assistant before you configure it so to do that, you go to Developer Tools. All right, so I think my uh, Raspberry Pi is slow. So you can just press Enter again. And check and restart, so we can go ahead and restart. 
Restarting Home Assistant will stop all your dashboards and scripts. Go ahead and press Restart. Okay, we're reconnecting. That will cut back when we're connected. Okay, so Home Assistant has started. Now from here, we can go to Settings again. And now we can go to Device and Services. All right, now we can um, search. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, this camera face is messing me up. So you can go to Add Integration. And then we can search for Hacks. There it is, let's click on it. Okay, you need to acknowledge all of these. Press Submit. Now, before you click on anything, go ahead and write this down, this code right here. And what you're going to do, once you have it written down, is go to GitHub and enter it in. If you don't have a GitHub, you might have to start your own. So I already have my own GitHub, and you can follow me on BJONE6. And then once you get here, go ahead and enter the code you just wrote down. Okay, so hacks by hacks. It'll have limited access to my public data and I'm okay with that, so authorize hacks. Congratulations, you're all set. Your device is now connected. So we can go ahead and click off of this. Success. We found the following devices. So hacks, go ahead and finish. And there we go. Now we have hacks right here. And this is where we can start installing cameras and third party things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Sorry I had some little problems, but that's the, the advantage of doing it live with me. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.